this video we will finally end the whole of Dragon Block C, including the Battle of Gods movie as well as the Resurrection of F movie. I have received a comment in one of the videos mentioning a shader option to give the game a more anime look and I really like it, so thanks to Skull and Vexity for the tip. And now let's jump into the video. I started by retrying the AFK farm I tried to build last video and it seemed to work by just placing a slab where I stood but as soon as the dummy got smaller it was able to TP next to me again so this still doesn't work. So I grabbed some weights and went into the hyperbolic chamber again, exiting with almost 300,000 TP that I mainly pumped into constitution and spirit because I want to max out mind and constitution first so I can have longer, more interesting fights. And I took a look at our form mastery and I was able to master my base form, the Super Saiyan 1 and 2 completely. After that I wanted to enchant some books and collected sugarcane. And in between I visited Goku to learn the instant transmission, which I didn't know how to use. Then I gave it some wool and different colored flowers to make a new set of Goku's fighting suit. I made some books and enchanted them. It really took a while because I had to slaughter many dinosaurs to reach level 30 again and again for the maximum enchantment level. The first real enchantments I had were Efficiency 5 for the pickaxe and Sharpness 5 for the Z sword I wanted to make. Then came a lot of books until I had Protection 4, Featherfall 4 and Unbreaking 3 for the boots. And later I was able to give the chest and leg piece protection for and unbreaking free as well. So I was finally able to de-equip the old suit and wear the new enchanted pair, which doesn't glow because of the shader somehow. After that I grabbed the spaceport, train radar and my two Namekian train balls and traveled to Namek yet again to gather the seven train balls. While searching for them I fought a lot of dinosaurs for the meat because it's a lot better than the beef. I summoned Poronga once again, wishing for free kitchen shots. Back home I cooked the dinosaur meat and crafted the sea sword blade. And like that, I was only one kitchen shard short for the complete Z sword. I took the Dragon Raider and searched for the Earth Dragon Balls. And when I had all seven, I summoned Shenron and wished for the last missing kitchen shard. With that, two gold and two leather, I was able to make the Z sword hilt. And after combining the hilt with the blade, I had finally obtained the Z sword, the best weapon in this mod pack. I enchanted it with my Sharpness 5, Mac 2 and Looting 3 book, only missing fire aspect for it to reach its full potential, which didn't matter as the normal mobs are way too weak for the sword's base damage and the mods mobs are immune to fire damage. On my way to Babidi's ship, I changed the style of my keybar and then entered Babidi's ship only to talk to him and leave the ship to fight our first opponent in the Blue Saga, Pew Pew. He, Yakon, and Dabura were no match for my master Super Saiyan 2 with the Z-Sword. And I soon had to face Majin Buu, who was no match for me, especially not the refight where I had to turn into Super Saiyan 3 for the first time. After beating Fat Buu for the last time, I trained in the hyperbolic chamber and got 400k and was able to increase my constitution to 1000 like mind. Increasing mind so much, I was able to receive 800,000 training points that I now wanted to use to bring all my attributes to 1k, missing a lot more TP than I thought. But I still challenged Super Boom, if you can call a challenge, because I really sweeped the floor with him. I maxed out key sense, which now allows me to see the enemy's exact health, and then I took care of all the absorption forms of Super Boo, including Gotenks, Piccolo and Ultimate Gohan. And just like that, there was only one fight left for the saga, the Kid Boo fight, which was not so easy as I didn't cheese him like all the other fights.
with the Boo Saga done, I went to the Hyperbolic Chamber again, mastering Super Saiyan 3, as well as gaining 1.3 million TP, allowing me to reach 1k at Con, Mind, Spirit, Strength and Dex, only missing Will with 985 points. I left the Hyperbolic Chamber and started the next saga, the Beerus Saga. The first fight was against the God of Destruction himself, but to no surprise he was a breeze with almost all my attributes at 1000. My next goal was unlocking the Super Saiyan God form, a mythical form long lost, and after hitting a 150 combo in a shadow boxing minigame, I was able to learn it from Whis, Beerus's companion. After transforming into the God form, I had to refight Beerus, this time being more challenging because he did a lot more damage. Ending Beerus' saga and entering the Golden Freezer saga immediately with a training fight against Whis, who most definitely went easy on us. Next up was another Freezer soldiers fight, this time with 30 of them. So I flew in the sky and loaded a spirit bomb, leaving only two of them alive. On the next day I continued with Freezer's Sidemen. First Shisami and then Ginyu in Takuma's body. With them aside, Freezer came to fight in his 100% form we first beat on Namek a long while ago, so he was absolutely no match for me. For the next part I had to ascend even further beyond the Super Saiyan God form. For this I entered the hyperbolic chamber again, but before I took down Freezer, I collected the wheat from my field and committed a genocide on my cows, leaving only a few of them because there were way too many, I don't need books anymore, and the sound of a hundred cows was very annoying and very loud. After that I went in the never where I belonged for such a cruelty and searched for a fortress for places because, you guessed it, their place rots. I left the never and searched some endermen with the key sense and looted the pearls. For the last time in this video I entered the hyperbolic chamber and gathered a total of 2 million TP. I finally was able to make my will to 1k and increased my constitution to 1510 and my mind to a total of 3000. With my now 30,000 health and a better power of 87,000, I fought Freezer in his golden form, banishing him from the universe's surface once and for all. But that was not it, as you may have guessed. I grabbed my ender eyes and searched the stronghold. I found it in the portal room very quickly and entered the end, where I was greeted by Minecraft's end boss, the ender dragon. I destroyed the crystals and killed him, one shot of course. Ending not only Dragon Ball Z, but Minecraft as well. That's it with this video. We finally beat Dragon Ball Z, or Dragon Block Z, however you want to call it. We reached the most new forms in this video and I'm really happy with it. This video definitely had more content and fights in it than the last one. Let me know which one you prefer. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I hope to see you in the next video, dear Tarnished.